Hi guys, you are watching German Gyan. My name is Nidhi Jain and guys, today I am again here with you for you with another video. So I hope you... So I hope you are gonna love this video because this is such a demanding video. So this is a part 3 as the, all Saturdays the series is going on. So this video is all about how you can master B1 level. Now B1 level is very very important level because after B1 you can easily get jobs in any country whether it is India, Germany or anywhere in a world. So yeah let's get started and before that I want to tell you that if you are new on my channel then don't forget to subscribe like click the so bell that you can get the notification and you will be aware that my new video is up so let's start with the video so basically in this video i will be discussing at least two two three main things like i will be discussing all the four modules but except that i will be letting you know three more things first my experience of giving me even second that what are the facts and problems which normally every student face in fact i have also faced uh, when i was doing my b1 level and third thing is a uh, ultimate good news for you so let's get started and please stay tuned till end so that you can know that what exi exciting is coming for you and what's the good news for you so let's begin. so guys when i was giving my b1 exam uh, the experience was literally so amazing it was some things very bad something very good but i am here to tell you the good things and the bad things also so to, first of all let me start with the good thing now when i was preparing i was like very much confused in vocabulary which is the biggest problem which normally everyone face right uh, not only in b1 level everyone face in a1 a2 b1 each and every level so yeah uh, i am here i will be letting you know that how you, we can solve it so stay tuned for that uh, when I was doing the grammar it was okay okay that I can easily solve and do the grammar but for grammar also I am gonna give you a trick and tips so stay tuned uh, when I was giving the exam the speaking was the biggest issue because I was not having anyone with me who normally know the speaking part or we can communicate with each other so for that what we have done let me tell you so let's start with the facts and trips uh, for the vocabulary let me tell you uh, I will suggest you that please, 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 uh, suppose in the last video for A2, I have given you a suggestion. If you haven't watched, link will be in description. I have clearly told that at least learn 20 to 30 words on the daily basis. Same for B1, at least learn 30 to 40 words new and new because B1 vocabulary is little huge and uh, the little... Uh, B1 vocabulary words are little bigger plus the vocabulary is huge so you have to give a time to that and one thing which you have to remember that you are learning new words it's very good it's excellent but make sure that you are revising you are getting at least one hour uh, I will suggest that wake up early and at least give one hour in the morning because in morning your mind is totally fresh and you get a time to get a revision and do a revision in a good way uh, if you don't uh, wake up early in the morning then I will suggest in the night time at least at least bring uh, take out one hour and do a revision of vocabulary what you have already learned and the vocabulary new which you have to learn is 30 to 40 new words. Now B1 vocabulary words are a little longer they are not smaller like A1 and A2 so you have to work over that fine. So this was my tip for vocabulary. Now I was saying that I will be giving you the suggestion for grammar part also. So for grammar that I will suggest you that uh, suppose you, today you have done a new topic and I will suggest do a revision suppose in the afternoon teacher has teach, uh, mentor or teacher or trainer anyone has teach you or you have learned from YouTube itself but uh, from YouTube please don't learn because I don't think so uh, it is uh, you will be able to know each and every concept because in a particular video no one can tell you each and everything related to that and in fact in books books if you uh, yourself teach yourself then also you will be not getting exact depth knowledge of the particular topic trainer is must for learning german so i will always so i will always suggest that now a uh, uh, grammar. grammar part I will always suggest revise the same day suppose you are doing one topic today revise each and every topic on the same day and suppose today is Monday and you are revising it today so on the Sunday or next Monday fix a day after 
seven to eight days, you have to revise all the topics you have done in the last week. That will be uh, in that sense, you will be able to revise everything and memorize everything because grammar and vocabulary is something which you will be like, vocabulary is something like you will be uh, forgetting at least after two or three days. And grammar is something like you will be uh, forgetting after seven to eight days. So I normally suggest vocabulary you have to revise on the daily basis because vocabulary is a vast thing. It's not a small thing. And if I talk about grammar, then in grammar, at least you take six to seven days gap and revise all the things which you have done in a particular week. And don't give a gap like you are giving a gap of seven, eight, ten days in German while learning. Don't do that. Please, because uh, if you are in not touching with German language, especially in B1 or A2 or A1 level, you will be not able to catch up again. You have to revise from the starting and then you have to come back. So don't do that. Now, guys, let's talk about the four modules. Now, four modules, we are having Spreschen, Huren, Lazen and Schreiber. So I'm going to give you tips and I have already given the tips. Uh, all the B1 videos which I have made for exams and for B1 learning vocabulary, I will be putting in description. Please go and watch it out because I know it will definitely, definitely help you uh, at the next level. So yeah, first tip I want to give you for all the four modules is that once you are done with whole Bevel level, please, please, please go through all the modal paper. At least try to do like uh, Goethe's itself having two or three modal papers and then do the telc examinations or if you are starting, we will provide you their own sample papers which you have to solve so in that way at least you have to solve 10 to 15 that is a minimum count 10 to 15 if you are doing maximum like 20 25 30 awesome so please do that because that will help you at the next level your pronunciation your speaking part your grammar solving your hearing everything will be get perfect in now for hearing i want to tell you a very very important tip First tip I always tell that you don't have to listen each and everything because sometimes every student, most, most of the student will complain the same thing that when we are hearing anything, we are not able to catch each and everything. In that way, I, I want to tell you that you don't have to understand each and everything, each and every word in a line, you have to understand the main main word. For that, if you are having the exercises, so please do underline the important important word. In that way, you will be able to catch up. In that way, you will be able to catch up all the important, important things and you will be like, okay, I can do it now. It will be super, super easy for you to solve the Huron exercise and it will be super easy for you. So this is a very important tip for you all. Now for Huron practice, you can listen the German movies in a huge amount. Uh, they, all the videos are available on YouTube or any Netflix or anything. So please do watch it. Second, do watch German advertisement that will improve your hearing plus speaking because advertisements are little small so you will easily catch up how you have to speak, what is the accent and everything so that will help you very very much so it's my suggestion for you. Watch small small series, watch small small episodes that will also help you and uh, for lesson of course you can read German newspaper, magazines, articles there are a lot of things which you can read in fact in india also there are so many websites which you can see and learn for uh, use for laser practice for german so do it very very important for b1 level now if i talk about speaking so for speaking mm -hmm. i will suggest you find some partner with you or if you are in an institute like german gyan you will be getting mm -hmm. at least five to six person five to six students or friend you can say from uh, with them you have to do a daily speaking practice in that way you will be getting a lot and a lot so yeah you can do that for speaking practice i will also suggest you that if you are watching some movies or something or you are reading newspaper so uh, stand in front of the mirror and talk what are the advantage what are the disadvantage what is your opinion over that article and record that and send to your mentor to the trainer and let him let him or her check that where are you where are you uh, doing good and where you are bad so in that way you're speaking and all the things will get improved so please go forward and do it i hope this video will help you uh, so and stay tuned for next coming video on tuesday i'm coming live at 2 pm so stay tuned with all the questions and queries which you have already given me and if you have any more request or question please do comment in the comment section and i will be watching you in the next video till then stay tuned Stay happy and keep learning German with German Gantus.